What's up guys, I'm Kara SR and From Software just dropped the Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon gameplay trailer, revealed the release date, and announced the four different editions of the game. This is one of the best looking game trailers I've seen in a long time, so we're gonna watch the new trailer together and then I'm gonna break down both the gameplay and what you get with the four different special editions of the game available for purchase. Let's get after it! Walter verified. Activating cerebral coral control device. has awakened. three minutes and we have a lot to go over but first can i be real with you for a second a goal of mine for 2023 is to try to expand beyond single game content so if you want to see videos and streams featuring massive upcoming AAA titles such as this make sure you click the subscribe button below and turn your notifications to all so you don't miss a single thing now let's break down this trailer first of all i love sci-fi so much so right off the bat this shot grabbed me i was in A dog, huh? Handler Walter verified. Activating cerebral coral control device. Coral is apparently going to play a major part of the plot of Armored Core 6. The developers call it a mysterious new substance and say that it was discovered on Rubicon 3. As an energy source, it was expected to dramatically advance humanity's technological and communications capabilities, but of course instead, it caused a catastrophe that engulfed the planet and the surrounding stars in flames, forming a burning star system, which looks pretty awesome. We, the player, infiltrate the planet and find ourselves in the middle of a struggle over coral between warring factions. Augmented human. C4621 has awakened. The graphics of this game are gorgeous, and the scale of both the environments and the enemies are incredibly visually striking. 
you can see how verticality and movement factors into the encounter design. Bandai Namco said that in order to defeat your enemies, you will have to master rapidly changing combat distances, using the environment for protective cover, and mastering omnidirectional battles to overcome challenging situations. From Software President Hidetaka Miyazaki recently told IGN that the two core ideas they focused on when developing this game were the ability to assemble and customize your own mech, and then being able to exact a high level of control over your mech once assembled. He heavily focused on how free assembly and customization of parts affects gameplay styles, the properties of your mech in combat, and also changes your approach to encounter design. President Miyazaki went on to say that boss battles are the highlight of the game, and you can see from this trailer that they look absolutely ridiculous. One of the infamous handler Walter sounds interesting. You ready to climb the wall? That's a melee weapon that we attack with, then barely dodge a melee attack, then fly headfirst into an enemy lightsaber, jump over a laser cannon, slice with our own laser sword, and then shield and dodge incoming damage. Watch out! This thing that looks like the Obliterator from Final Fantasy X is pretty badass. From Software also revealed that the game is scheduled to release on August 25th, 2023 on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC, and then went on to detail the four different editions available for purchase. Pre-ordering the standard edition of the game comes with the Melander C3 G12 Special Edition Tenderfoot customization, early in-game unlocks of the Melander C3 part set and emblem, and an exclusive AC decal. The Digital Deluxe Edition comes with all of that as well as an exclusive digital art book and the original soundtrack for an additional $10. Then you get to the big guns. The collector's edition comes with everything mentioned as well as a steelbook case featuring original art, 45 stickers, four pin badges featuring in-game emblem patterns, an exclusive 40-page hardcover art book, and a 19 centimeter or seven and a half inch armored core figurine. This retails for $230 here in the States. But the collector's edition is not even the biggest or best edition available. There's also a $450 premium edition that gives you everything in the collector's edition, as well as a 32 centimeter or a little over 12 inch garage inspired by the in-game garage that your mech uses. How much does a garage cost? $35 to $70 per square foot. Well, this single square foot of garage is gonna run you $220 extra, but you know, you can also park your mech in it. You take a trailer this stylish and then remember it's made by From Software, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty hyped. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about the trailer, and then make sure you click both like and subscribe for future Armored Core 6 content. I plan to make videos for this game and stream it when it comes out in August, so stay tuned right here on YouTube.